The ongoing saga of Hogwarts Legacy has been really fun to watch over the last few weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been meltdowns, there have been praise, there have been what people are calling a boycott, where people are like, uh-uh, you can't tell me what I can or can't play. Ladies and gentlemen, this is hilarious and, well, yeah, it's just hilarious. Anyway, let's get into... Let's get into the story today. Hogwarts Legacy is currently the best-selling game on Steam, and it's not even out yet. So says the headline over here from Game Rant, which is MSN-owned. Uh, yeah, we're just going to read it. Hogwarts Legacy is currently the best-selling game on Steam, despite the fact the game doesn't come out for another month. Anticipation has been high for Hogwarts Legacy since it was first revealed in 2020, with many Harry Potter fans counting down the days until they get to play the open world action RPG for themselves. The Hogwarts Legacy was first announced. The game <clears throat> was expected to launch at some point in 2021. However, Hogwarts Legacy release date uh, was delayed a couple of times, ultimately pushing it back to February 10th, 2023. There have been some more Hogwarts Legacy release uh, release date shakeups since then with the PS4, Xbox One versions delayed to april 4th the switch version not coming out until july 25th damn that was actually the one that i was gonna get because i think i think not i think my wife and my kids would have a blast with this game and who knows maybe i would even have a blast with this game. i'm not really big harry really big harry potter guy but you know i it's, maybe it'd be fun i like i do like open world rpgs i am i'm okay with that those planning on playing the game on pc ps5 or xbox series x can still look forward uh, to the february 10th release date well i mean i didn't got a series s here maybe i can download it and play it before the rest of the family ha <laughs> ha all right um the hogwarts legacy pre-order data proves that the game is going to have an absolutely massive debut when it launches next month just yesterday hogwarts uh legacy climbed the second place position on steam bestsellers list but it's now taken the top spot hogwarts legacy purchases uh purchases are even out doing downloads of free-to-play games. Yeah, and that is actually over here on Steam. So you can see Apex Legends is one of the only ones that is uh, beating it for free-to-play, but it's beating Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Lost Ark Destiny 2, War Thunder, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master... Oh, I meant to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Ooh, might have to do that later. Uh, Elden Ring, it's, I mean, I mean, this is absolutely hilarious with what's happening. And I know a lot of people are saying, you know, Twitter is melting down, but anytime I put in the hashtag for Hogwarts Legacy, I actually see, aside from, you know, the E-Thought girls that are just like, oh, putting Hogwarts Legacy because it's, you know, something relevant and I need to get seen. But over here on Twitter, oh no, where'd it go? Oh, it disappeared. Wait, where'd it go? Nope, that's not where I went. Yep, right here. So, bought the Digital Deluxe a couple weeks ago. They're waiting for it. I'm going to boycott this game because I probably can't even afford it anyway. Eh, that sounds like... And then tears in their eyes. So, yeah. Uh, They're canceling the pre-order for Hogwarts Legacy. Mmm, we would have to see some substantive stuff on that. And then you scroll down here and you can see how excited so many people are they just bought it again i don't like to do pre-orders but i hate the fact that two percent of the population can drive the rest of us into a corner enough is enough that right there that sums it up right there people are absolutely sick of being told what they can and can't do with their own lives what i find so hilarious about this is that the people who are melting down over this saying that you can't buy it because jk rowling's gonna get some money out of it and she's some evil version of a person who absolutely hates you know trans women and because you know jk Rowling just so happens to agree that women's rights are being eroded in our society in place of men who want to dress up like them so that being said <clears throat> the idea that this game is going to sell ridiculously well as time goes on 
It already is selling very well on Steam. I've heard rumors that the PS5 version is selling. I'm actually probably going to buy it on multiple systems so the family can play it all together. Probably put it on both of my Nintendo Switches. Uh, maybe throw it up here on the Xbox. Maybe I'll do a gameplay. Maybe I'll do a gameplay. Gameplay walkthrough or uh, uh, that walkthrough. Well, whatever. You know what I'm saying. I'll play, I'll play that game over on my gaming channel. Maybe I'll do that too. But I find it absolutely hilarious how so many people out there love this franchise, adore this franchise, and when all of a sudden J.K. Rowling couldn't tow 100% of the line, but 99% of the line, let's, I mean, J.K. Rowling is still a leftist, right? Like, don't, she's the, she's not right wing by far. She literally, there's just like one thing that she's just like, I can't go that far. There's one thing, that's it. And the cult has lost it. They're telling people that you're transphobic. They're calling people and telling people to go F themselves, saying if you buy this game, you're a terrible person. If you do this, you're a horrible human being. How could you possibly support a, and I believe the term is TERF, which is a trans exclusionary radical feminist, which is um, just a just a, an absolutely bombastic term on its face. But the idea that you can't buy this game because they say you can't, and the day of these people having any sort of power is collapsing all around us. And not just in video games. But we're seeing the rise of independent media. We're seeing the rise of people out there who are finally standing up and saying enough is enough. And it's happening all over the place. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just one more domino in the chain that shows me, and I hope shows you, that the crazies, well, they lost too much of their grip on reality. And now it's time for us to take reality back. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. I have a doggo that needs to go outside or she's barking at a cat. So I'm going to go take care of the doggo. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you all here on Sundays as I, as I read all of your comments on this video and all of the videos of the week. Also, don't forget to join me and my amazing co-hosts on Iron Age Nights on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Central. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.